Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, regarding the Shagwa is going home, simply because a conservator order was lifted, and uh, what followed that was, you know, a number of gazette notice, close to five of them, including a public holiday, meaning that even judges will not be working tomorrow in a holiday so even if you have any case in the court there's no one you would find there where file to online <laughs> that is the situation that we are in as of now and the issue has been that as the Shagwa, if the Shagwa is going to go home they are a staff that are going to suffer because they will lose their jobs that is true and if you thought that is the only thing then you are wrong. The reality is that Ruto will not stop there. He will go to an extent to remove all members of parliament, including even senators, who are in a position of leadership in any of these two houses, either a committee member or if there is anything you are gaining somewhere, but from whom, Jarawako. As long as you are the guy like Ashagwa's loyalist, you will go home. And I remember some time back, not some time, was it yesterday, when the UDS Secretary General, uh, Omar Hassan, was reacting to the members of parliament who supported the impeachment of Rigatha Gashagwa and who are loyal to the party. He mentioned Did Nyoro as one of the people who are. Fans seat us. What were cut for fans? Therefore, I have seen news that Ndidi Nyoro is among the people who are going to suffer the punch. Wako viongozi vijana wazuri kabisa kutoka mlima. Wamesumama na wakenya wengine. Ndidi Nyoro kina kimani shungwa. Kina ndukizetu kama vile kina eri kwa mumbi. Ndidi kidogo alimona ali hapo 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 katikati. About 13 members of parliament, including Dindi Nyoro, are on President William Ruto's list of members who are going to suffer the purge. And I want us to look into that and way forward. But before we go deep into this, I'm coming to you with a humble request. I've been here running a program seeking funds to help a church put up a new building. They started the building and from the foundation to almost Lindo but they got stuck. So I went there and helped them to finish the Nindo because already the judge was at risk. So after finishing that, I also embarked on eh, helping them to get the uh, frames. According to the fundi, he needed about 150 pieces. And of course, I managed to get them that. The big problem, problem is now about the iron sheets. They need about 75 pieces, but they are not in a position to get this. So my grandmother asked me, why can't you ask a friend to help you? Because actually she knows you guys. You are good people, and you've been extending your hand reach out to the most needy. So I told her, you come and speak to them, and they will see what they can do. So she's here humbly requesting for your support for them to get the iron sheath and fix their church so they can move from the muddy one to this one. Hi guys, now today I'm here with my grandmother and uh, I've been visiting their church. She has been really requesting me to try and help so that they can finish their construction of this church. Kuna vile wamekwama. So leo nikasema nitakuja nimwambia ongea na nyinyi ili na nyinyi pia msikie kama mnaweza guzwa pia mwasaidie ili waweza kuweka roofing kwa hii kanisa. Tumejaribu sana na majaribu tumeweka majaribu kuweka linde ile kwa and pia tumeenda tu pia tukapata frames zenye nataka fix but they don't have iron sheets na hawana pia milango na matirisha so ningependa pia wasalia hii awambie majina yake 
Alafu pia mwambie mwenyewe. Unaweza kufanya. Haitwa Instagram. Na huyu ni mchukuu wangu. Mwambie aongee na nyinyi marafiki yake kutusaidia kanisa kujenga na mapadri. Hakuna mapadri. Kama mtusaidia tutaomba Mungu amfariki. Now if you are taking this story and you are in a position to support or help in this program you can kindly channel in your contribution through the Mpesa number 0708340092 that's my number Charles Nangugwa you want to see the middle name and I want to thank those who have already sent in their contribution as we continue to push for this now thank you so much and let us get back to our discussion now the person who is being discussed here is Lindy Nyoro. Leave alone about the other members of parliament. Though the list is here, we can mention them. Um, apart from Kiharo MP, we have Wakili Edward Muriui, Muriu, that is Gatanga, Chege Juguna, Kandara, Mary Omaua, Maragua, Wakili Edward Muriu, Gatanga, Peter Kihugi, Kangema, Joseph Munyoro, Kigumu, among others. These are people who have been uh, trying to come out to defend Gaza Gashagwa. Some have been vocal. Others have been doing so in silence. For example, Dini Nyoro. Dini Nyoro silently opposed the impeachment of Rikanda Gashagwa. According to Ruto, those who should have led an impeachment of Rikanda Gashagwa are members of parliament from Mount Kenya, such that it will be seen as people of Mount Kenya also have a problem with Rikanda Gashagwa. Forget about Rift Valley and elsewhere. He needed a huge support from Mount Kenya. Some of the close allies of William Ruto include Didi Nyoro. In fact, most of us thought that Ruto was going to appoint Didi Nyoro as a CS. But the other information that emerged was that Didi Nyoro did not want to become a CS. Instead, he asked William Ruto just to give him contracts and give him a position in the National Assembly. So Nidhi Nyoro was made chair, chairperson of budget and appropriation committee. That is where everything is decided. So Ruto needed someone who is loyal. But Nidhi Nyoro has failed twice. At the first time, meaning that even Nidhi Nyoro did not support the finance bill, there was Gen Z protest. And for the protest, Kenyans made loud noise. Nidhi Nyoro did not come out to defend the finance bill in 2024. He remained silent. There are people who came out to defend it, but for him, he remains silent, yet is the one who is chairing this budget. He never pushed for it even in the National Assembly. Yet he chairs the budget. That was the first time. Ruta Kanyamaza. Tumekuja mamba ya Gashaka Ata. Gashaka Ata wengi wa liyamini ya kwamba Didi Nyoni is the one who was going to replace Gashaka. It never happened then. Eh? He never came out vocal like Kemani Ishungwa. Ruto needed people like Kemani Ishungwa. Yani ubitrei watu wako umfraisha yeye. That is what he would want. But the Indian did not come out to do so. Because of that, the same way Rikanda Kashagwa's staff are going to suffer. In the same way, anyone who is loyal, loyal to Rikanda Kashagwa is going to suffer. And those who will continue to support Gashagwa or defend him will even suffer more 
as far as the issue of now security agents following them in terms of corruption and other issues they will be targeted hapo sasa ndio mambo yamefika kwa serikali ya Kenya kwanza so you either support him or you be viewed as a betrayer and being disloyal to William Ruto so imagine to William Ruto this loyalty is punishable and loyalty is a rewarded Dile nyolo might have had his own issues maybe he was aware that he is not the one to replace Kashagwa backlash at home among other issues but now Ruto is here to deal with them mercilessly so that's how far the war that Ruto has announced against Gashagwa is concerned itaenda yende 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 kabisa ni vita haitaisha saizi mtu yote mwenye msimamo na Gashagwa they should prepare to suffer and that is the behavior of the Kenya Kwanza administration i don't know your views but it has been the comment secure to continue with this discussion thank you so much and see you in our next video